You're a war crimes... <laughs> inv- is that true? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Islamnet is raising funds to establish a masjid and community center in Norway and they urgently need your support. This donation will be a sadaqah jariah for you because every person that comes a step closer to Allah through your donation, you will inshallah be reaping the reward. Click the link and donate what you can. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends You cannot make this up I've said this before guys, if they gave me a billion pound budget and said make Zionists look bad as possible I could have possibly never be able to orchestrate something like what the Zionists are doing for free Absolutely free bro, it's as if Allah is humiliating them with their own hands on their own tongues Listen to this comedian on stage, happens to be <laughs> interviewing So and I'm watching this and I'm thinking no way what he was about to say at the end Like you cannot make this up Just watch for yourself as he's talking about this guy who's a investigator of war crimes guess where he was from oh the irony and the comedian's face oh my gosh i mean he just absolutely owned him let's watch for ourselves it's so satisfying you're an investigator <laughs> what kind like for the police like war crimes investigator you're a war crimes <laughs> inv is that true is that true oh my god Jeez, we really went up a notch didn't we <laughs> Until then, it was just all fun, like, oh, first date in the front row. And you're like, I'm here to investigate war crimes. <laughs> what are you working on at the moment? What's your... Ukraine. Actually. Ukraine, you're working on investigating war crimes in Ukraine. Uh -huh. Fuck me, man. I thought when you said infrastructure, it was, like, going to kill the energy, but fuck. <laughs> you, <laughs> you came to win, I like it. And are you, are you from the UK? No. No, where are you from? You're from Israel. It's great. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. Of all the places you could have said, you're, an, you're a war crimes investigator from Israel looking at Ukraine. <laughs> I think the call may be coming from inside the house. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, wallahi, you cannot make this up. Wallahi, as if Allah is humiliating them with their own mouth. You go on stage, I would not even speak, bro. I would not even mention. If I was a Zionist Israeli on that stage and this guy was interviewing me, I would not mention my, my I would never say I'm a walker. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just, um, yeah, I just sell chips. I sell potato chips, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a cab driver. I'm, I would never. I mean, can you imagine so bold? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a war crime investigator. Okay, what are you working on now? Ukraine. Okay, where are you from? I would never in a million years say Israel. I'll be like, bloody honest, say face here. No, is that, like, yeah, I'm from Israel. I mean, you can't make this up. I just want to thank the Zionists. We could have not done it without you guys. You guys are flipping amazing. With this, when it comes to this, you guys are flipping phenomenal of exposing your bloody selves. Mwah, brilliant. Round of applause. You're from Israel and you are looking at war crimes in Ukraine. Bravo, you absolute flipping moron. What a flipping... Oh, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up, guys. That's all I want to share with you guys to brighten up your day, alhamdulillah. These, these guys are moronic, absolute idiotic fools, man. You cannot make this up. There's an outright genocide, apartheid going. The whole world has woken up to your reality. Carry on exposing yourselves from comedies, comedians on stage to news anchors to you name it. Carry on exposing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is exposing you guys. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's all I wanted to say, brothers and sisters. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This was so damn satisfying. Please share this around the world. Please. Goodbye. The Prophet وسلم, said, Whoever builds a masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. On that day where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that our books will be given and every little atom weight of good deed you've done will be there. And imagine you see a mountain. And you're like, what a lucky person. Which righteous person? And Allah says, this is for you. For me? Yes. What did I do? You allowed people to pray. You built a masjid. I never had the money to build a masjid, oh Allah. You helped. You gave towards it. And Allah gives you the reward of as if you've built it. Donate now, guys. And do not delay. And share the video for extra rewards.